Yo mi ma obi bi ara kwa ba e de ba akroma tv ghi so ene ya o first time ana me sere wi pa se wo betabli na wakun kire won sa no na wa subscribe ama ye kama kama pa na mi america si e blem wi di a me so ye ya amwa mi nsa yen kwa yen sem so e na ye kwa yen sem so akroma na ye tu fa akọ majority leader na so e e ye honorable chief minister bonsu wo se and then say at the say in Simbi say, or say, then Tam na na Mahama, or handy over 2016. Eddie Ama and another no, though not doom so or hot, but I think say, na Mahama abon home where they are my name, a coy pa. Was a science and seminar, a cocoso no, Nina and Yanukre, he was taken out of contest. Said the no person or chreno, and yes, sana a man for a tequino. It's like Obi would be a can or more polish a pinty a seminar home. Ama na akwa kwa yese na obo mahama abasu bino na wakase ibi ya mahama ya adie inti omu mplinu ni adie adie wase asamu entesa wase entesa akula na uh, uchire mwise eni uh, pipi ama yukuo no mabi eshi yae ena na otu wa mufu wase otu wa mufu wase they shouldn't be complacent eni kwa nse ni ama papa a omo yano eni kwa nse edidi wa mutrim edidi wa mutrim wa ebeti mi ama omo di nkuguo ewo uh, 2024 election no na ne kasa mu na no no kire se abraham hama ewo ewo so no na growth rate no enka no na growth rate no eye 2.2 ah chese na eye the worst ah chese aba gana but omo manage ah that was 2015 omo manage sa the time of uh, 2016 no growth rate no timi e increase ko 3.4 inti sa ne ma no etimi edidi mahama ene ndc fo no omo trim inti instant circle ah ombe nya moto for Campaign now, Oberti, it the big keke, it the big keke, it the big keke. That means near man and near koye mo mo na didu omutrim. Me wan so no okwa ground sa na enter sa growth rate ni diwa kana sa ba okwa ground sa na amount for ebere pa na chese diu umbe diu kula na aye asem e de amo mo. Inti na otu amu for se sans semino e de wa na na do ebo ne homo deno. Ni kwa se e didu omutrim omu ni omu ho na omu ni odu madzin se di ebe ya. 2024, eh, yeah, eh, and NPP beat me the eight. Young na or day two, Jano. I was painting a picture of the state of the economy. Uh, NPP um, officers, the party officers, polling station executives and constituency executives had met to listen to one of um, the presidential hopefuls who is engaged in water testing, who had come to my constituency. So I was talking to them and I was relating to, you know, the state of the economy. And I think the, um, I related to what President Kofor did, what uh, Mills Mahama did, and also what Ekufuado did in his first term. And um, I said when Kufuor was leaving, the growth in the economy as captured by the usual standard of assessment, GDP, inflation, uh, interest rates, and so on, international reserves, that were doing quite well. Okay. Yet in spite of that, it was difficult to break the eight. There were a few things. And the fact also that party faithfuls did not work hard enough we got a bit complacent. Then I related to the era of um, uh, President Mahama uh, when he succeeded Mills and won another term for the NDC. Dunso Dunso had afflicted us. And yet, in 2015, when the growth of the economy registered about 2.2%, which was the worst growth in 30 years, mm -hmm until that time. Now, the next level, 2016, they managed to grow the economy from the 2.2 to 3.4 percent. Okay. And I was just saying that that increment in the growth rate, right, um, perhaps caused John Muhammad to be complacent, which was why, as the president and presidential candidate who mounts um, a political platform, Instead of addressing 
the challenges of the economy and talking to Ghanaians who were listening to him, voters, about what it was that he was going to do to escalate growth. He was behaving like, excuse my language, but the language that I used, uh, that he was like a concert party uh, was, was, was playing out. And so he mounted a political party platform and then he'd be telling the listeners, the voters, a president of the republic, a presidential candidate, he had gotten complacent, right? So I was saying to us that 2017, 2020, we all saw what we're doing. The first three years of Akufuado's regime, doubling overnight the growth in the economy, mm. averaging 7%. When Jomahama averaged 2.8 percent in his in his last three years, we averaged seven percent in the first three years. Akufuado's regime. Enter COVID. Enter the um, Soviet Ukraine uh, imbroglio, and the economy is shattered. We're not coming up. Those of them who had gone to listen to Kenohene Japan, who had told them that he was coming at 2:30, the polling station agents. They had had to wait from 2.30 to 5 o'clock when the when Japan came. Two and a half hours, sitting in limbo, just to listen to a presidential candidate. I was asking them, how many of you, the whole year, has spent two and a half years going from house to house to come back for votes for the party? None of them. And yet, you have patience to come and listen to one person. Two and a half years. Sit down. So I was saying that they should have that same zeal. To go out there and work for the party. And I think it is the point that I made about John Mohammed's administration growing from 2.2 to 3.4 that they, they had climbed up and they had gotten complacent. And that small portion that I said is what was reported on by Ghana Web. Okay. So it was completely taken out, out of contest. <laughs> Or say my monchin and ain't see a bonny, and yes, Anna, or can you one boo be a basso, and now one can fool be a. Never see I and I your first time one, Namister, no one country, no one table in San, no one subscribe at the Amaya Kama 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 Pa. A ha air acromati VGT, so me America see a blame we, a dear major so air, yaw, I'm one minister. My cramon.